Now, um, Oscar, we really like what you're doing here with the theatre reviews. You clearly know your stuff. However, we've received a few complaints from our readers. Many of them say you can come across as quite snooty, or that you give the impression that you think you could have written them better yourself. What I think would be useful and would help with the flowery nature of your writing would be would be to go to London and write down your thoughts on could be anything. 500 words max, not a comma more. Our aim here is to get a sense of what London is like for a 2020 audience. Less Ovid, more J.K. Rowling. I'm not quite sure why I've been given this opportunity to experience this again. Nonetheless, I'd like to make it count, make it matter. So, this is what actors are like these days. This man, uh, Olivier, why does he have a statue? I've done far more for theatre than he ever has. He merely speaks towards the theatre, I create them. I still vividly remember the Belle Epoque. We had our boys, a Christmas carol, the importance of being earnest. Today there's Mamma Mia, Beetlejuice, and cats? familiar. Reminds me of November. It's certainly been a while. But my word, the city's become diverse. In more ways than one. My so-called deviant behaviour got me locked up in Reading Jail. Whereas today it's celebrated. I, I could be a Marine's Got Talent. No, no, strictly come dancing. In my day, we had Victoria, a charming, noble queen. Today, we have Elizabeth, a charming, noble queen. This is art now. It's, uh, fun. I mean, the city is overcrowded and doesn't know the first thing about good theatre, but... We've learned to accept and tolerate and progress. I, what did I miss here? 2020, maybe, maybe it's better than I first thought. I hope I played my part in getting this great city to be the diverse, open, welcome place that it is. If this generation even remembers who I am, I hope someone somewhere knows that my pain and my suffering somehow made the society a better place. For the first time in my life, I'm at a loss for words. I simply cannot believe my eyes. The society I came from locked me up for being Oscar Wilde. This society puts me on a podium for being Oscar Wilde. Oscar wanted to give this to you. Why isn't he here? Dear Editor, I've had to leave. I'm going for a chat with my old friend Ovid. I wonder what he thinks of Quidditch. I'm afraid I won't be returning. I leave the greatest city in the world a different way I left 100 years ago. Happy, fulfilled, and accepted. Yours truly, Oscar Wilde.